All right. Welcome back to Ask Allison. Today, I'm combining a few questions I've gotten recently that when looked at thematically, basically the question is who not to network with. I don't want you to waste your time or your social energy, particularly you introverts out there. And so I am answering that today. But first, I want to thank Therapy Notes. They are the number one rated electronic health record system available today. They have live telephone support seven days a week. And that's why it's clear that Therapy Notes is rated 4.9 out of five stars on Trustpilot and has a five star rating on Google. Therapy Notes makes billing, scheduling, note taking, and telehealth incredibly easy. And all you prescribers out there, they also have ePrescribe. If you're coming from another EHR, Therapy Notes makes the transition incredibly easy, importing your demographic data free of charge so you can get going right away. Find out what more than 100,000 mental health professionals already know. Use promo code ABUNDANT at therapynotes.com for two free months. All right, so the very most important rule for who not to network with is whether the person you're reaching out to works for an organization that encourages or requires in-house referrals only. Solo private practices are great to network with. The gastroenterologist at the Children's Hospital, the Children's Hospital that has its own outpatient therapy wing, isn't great to network with. Also not a great idea, anyone working at a group practice, most of them aren't the ones providing referrals anyway. Usually that's whoever's answering the phone um, or whoever's doing the intakes. If they do need to refer, it makes a lot more sense and maybe a requirement, unless that niche is unavailable, to refer to a colleague in-house. Are there exceptions to this? Sure. But when we're wanting to be as efficient as possible with your time and your energy, I'd rather you focus on the referral gold mines that are full therapists in your niche, therapists that won't touch your niche with a 10-foot pole, and the prescribers your ideal clients would go to, whether that's a primary care provider, a psychiatric provider, or a gynecologist. Today's free worksheet is who to network with. It helps you think through specifics of who is most likely to refer to you based on your ideal client. I'm going to link to that to make it easy to you. I hope you have a really sweet week.